U.S. Embassy in Kuwait celebrated U.S. National Day the 4th of July at the embassy premises in Bayan last night in the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Salim Abdullah al-Jabr al-Sabah. During the event, he stressed the depth of the relations between America and Kuwait in all fields. During the celebration, the U.S. Charged Affairs James Honsneider said that this year marks the seventh decade of diplomatic ties between the state of Kuwait and the United States, which began shortly after Kuwait's independence. Here's more. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Salim Abdullah al-Jabir al-Sabah, attended a reception of independence they held at the American Embassy in Kuwait. He commended the 61-year diplomatic ties between Kuwait and the U.S. and the 31-year relations of liberating Kuwait. The Kuwaiti-U.S. relationship has been my life's work for the past 21 years. As ambassador of Kuwait in Washington, D.C., it was my daily task to make sure that this relationship is healthy, this relationship is strong, this relationship is where it should be. And I can tell you in all confidence today that this relationship is where it should be. We have a strong relationship with the U.S. We have a strong alliance with the U.S. And I'm, I take pride in the level of relations we have. It is, uh, the U.S. is a great destination for our students, for our tourists, for our patients. I mean, the U.S. has a very, very special heart, uh, place rather in the heart of every Kuwaiti, and that's something I, as ambassador in, 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 in Washington for 20 years, took a lot of pride in. Sharjah the first James Holt Snyder stressed the depth of the relations between America and Kuwait in all fields and all levels in a growing way, which achieves the common interest of the two countries and their peoples. Kuwait has been and always will be a model for democratic institutions in the region. Kuwait is an important international partner and we're looking forward to working with a new government on global issues that will shape the future for all of us. Democracy is not guaranteed. It must be earned and defended. And a huge part of our independence history and continual efforts in support of freedom are made possible by the incredible efforts of the members of the U.S. Armed Forces. So thank you to all the service members who are here tonight in attendance and across the world for your work and your sacrifice. As everyone here knows, the United States and Kuwait have long stood together as partners, as allies, and as friends. This year marks the start of the seventh decade of diplomatic ties between our countries, shortly after Kuwait became an independent nation. We also recently marked the 31st anniversary of Operations Desert Storm and Desert Shield, when the United States led a coalition of 35 countries that brought an end to the Gulf War and liberated Kuwait. Hundreds of guests included the senior Kuwaiti officials, diplomatic representatives, Kuwaiti business leaders, and American residents in Kuwait. This is a great opportunity to showcase uh, the American opportunities to the Kuwaiti people and to strengthen the relations. From the U.S. Embassy in Kuwait, I'm Hadil Fad reporting to Kuwait English News.